In this video, we're going to look at how to render HTML, which is in a string format, inside a Swift UI app. For example, this is something that you can encounter while receiving data from an API, which serves content in JSON format. So we're going to get started by starting a single view app, uh, and we don't need to use core data or anything else. Uh, it's just a template, but it can be expanded and made more complicated later. The first thing we're going to do is just create a very simple HTML string to represent what we might get from a JSON API. And this string could be literally anything as long as it's in HTML. Uh, here we're just going to say something like uh, uh, heading one, this is a HTML string, and close the tag. Later we can expand on that to see how it looks in the app. Then we're going to create a new view where we're going to do all of the uh, additional work. We're going to call it HTML view. And we're going to import Swift UI as well as web view, or uh, sorry, web kit. And we're going to create a struct called HTML view or anything else that's sensible. And the important part is that it needs to conform to UI view representable. Once we have that, there's just a couple of things we need to add inside. The first thing we're going to do is a placeholder variable where we're going to pass in the actual HTML string. Uh, we're going to call it HTML string. And then there's two functions we need to create. The first one is make UI view with context of context, and it needs to output a WK web view. All it does is creates uh, a WK web view, uh, and we do that by doing a return. And then the second function, we're going to update the view we've just created, and it's called uh, update UI view. And here we're going to say UI view dot load HTML string with the HTML string variable at the top and a base URL of nil. And that's it. This is all that we need inside this view, and we can go ahead and plug it into our content view. We're going to pass it a HTML string that we created. And we're also going to need to wrap uh, these couple of components inside a vStack or an HStack uh, so that SwiftUI doesn't complain. And once we have that, we are ready to run it and see what it looks like. It might take a while, uh, but ultimately this is the basics of rendering an HTML string inside your app. And ultimately it can get much, much more complicated depending on what kind of data you're receiving through your API. And you can also add to the data you're receiving um, as much as you want. So this is what it looks like. And just as an example, we're going to add a quick uh, paragraph uh, tag in here just to see how that looks like. And we're going to say this is a paragraph and very quickly re-render everything. And there you go. That's it. Um, so that's it. You can make the HTML as complicated as you want, but uh, ultimately this is how it works. Hopefully this is helpful. Hit like and subscribe and I'll keep making more of these videos. Thank you.